Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we are doing a reading for the collective. Oh yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to be doing the sun sign for the collective, and we'll see what comes up. And if nothing comes out, I'll just choose one. Ah, embracing. Okay. I feel like you're embracing what you're meant to be doing here. Maybe you're on your path. I kind of feel like you possibly are here. Let's see what we get for, oh, the bottom of the deck. <laughs> abundance, yes, you are, will be embracing this abundance that's coming in for you. However that means to you, whether it's love, whether it's money, whether it's just peace of mind, happiness, being good with who you are, all of the above. Feel like you're really tapping into something here now i saw that somebody may be in my theme here to see what was going on um somebody feels like they are being blocked from you uh with the imprisoned card that they're unable to come forward to you you may have blocked this person let's see what's going on here with this theme ah you are the Empress, oh my goodness, look at you. Okay, so you have done the work, you are embracing love, and the Empress is all about love. She is Venus, love, pleasure, marriage, that loving, um, nurturing type of person that is kind of um, in her luxurious, luxurious life coming in, luxury and luxury this is something that's coming in for you wow and this is how you are seeing yourself you see yourself in this energy of this luxury this loving nurturing energy yeah wow this is beautiful you may have been kind of thinking oh do i really want to get married i don't know if i really want to maybe you've been married before maybe it's just a piece of paper to you Maybe it is something that you do want to do. Maybe it's traditional in your family. Let's see what's going on for your emotions with your moon sign. Bring love into the situation. New moon in Aquarius. Okay. <laughs> Possibly an Aquarius is coming in for you. Maybe you have Aquarius in your chart. A fiery climax of approaches full moon in Aries so this might be your person coming in that has Aquarian Aquarius and Aries in their chart here let's see what's on the bottom of the deck prosperity lies ahead I cannot make this up with the abundance card here and prosperity so you may be getting two blessings coming in here maybe one of love and one of wealth let's see what we get for the tarot card Aha, uh -huh. yes it is coming in for you. Look at that, I can't make that up. That is the Eight of Wands. This is something that's coming in quite quickly. It could be a proposal. This could be, wow, this is amazing because I feel like you feel this energy possibly coming in or you will feel them uh, when they're close by even. Let's see what we get for a rising card here. The diamond star. This is your destiny. I focus and serve and follow my higher purpose. I did feel like you were doing what you're meant to be doing here. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. The inner temple, life lessons. Yeah, you go within your shadow for deep spiritual growth. And I feel like you may be coming out of that. And this is where your blessings come in. You've done the work. You've showing up as the Empress, feminine or masculine. Wow, just as I said that, the Emperor came out. This person sees you as the Empress. This person is your Emperor. Wow, because this rising sign is how they see you. So you may feel like you are the Empress. They may see you as the Emperor. Wow. They may even be your emperor. This may be how they see you as you being on your destined path and that you've done the work when it comes to your shadow side. 
Let's get one more in here to see what's going on. Yes, you've done the work. You stand up for what you believe in and you have your boundaries. You are not one to be messed with because you know your worth. Yes, let's look at your Jupiter, your luck that's coming in for you. You look like you're getting a lot of luck to me. Blessings here. This is things that are meant for you. This could be your inheritance, your spiritual inheritance. <laughs> this may be a contract that you pulled down from the ethers. Something that's going to balance things out for you. This is number six. This is cooperation and harmony here. Restoration of possibly your energy. Something that's being restored back to you. This spiritual abundance. Perhaps this has been kept from your lineage because nobody's come forward to do what you're doing to embrace following spirit, to be tapped into your heritage. I feel like you may have had ancestors that have passed over that have been blossoming abundance. Any more abundance and I'm gonna go wow. Like this is crazy. This six plus three is nine. And I'm taking that as your fruition, your attainment, what you've been attaining, trying to attain. Your fulfillment, this is something that <laughs> so much so much abundance here is just crazy and prosperity what do we have on the bottom of the deck <laughs> you may be this thinking woman you may be getting thoughts from spirit this is 11 this may be your ascended masters that are bringing in these messages for you that this something is coming for you yeah you may be quite serious when it comes to what you do I, I feel like with the queen of Swords, this is somebody that changed. This is all about changing things, maybe in your lineage. This is somebody that's very smart. You're very smart. You're very intelligent. You're very independent and strong. And this may be what people really see you as um, being determined. They see that you are very determined to receive what you are meant to receive, or maybe you get everything that you set out to get. Let's get another card for you. <laughs> A lot of people see you as very beautiful. You're very the queen of wands, so very confident. You, you come across very confident, determined, and self-assured here. This is somebody that is knowing they are getting good things coming in here. You know this. You know this is coming in for you. You may have been doing the work. You may have been guided this way and knowing that if you do and follow spirit like you're meant to and do the work that you're meant to do, that you are going to get this. Yeah, there may have been some type of separation you've just recently gone through or somebody that you may have separated has recently tried to come back into your energy here. Yeah, I feel like you made the effort to follow what you were meant to do. I don't feel like you were meant to take this person back. Yes, release your ex. I can't get it any more clearer than that. <laughs> so de definitely that you are supposed to release this person and I feel like you passed oh, that's some type of confirmation hang on guys all right sorry about that <laughs> let's get back to this so we have release your ex so let's see now this could have been a king of wands that was a bit of a looker, maybe very attractive, very popular, possibly somebody that was, um, I don't know, respected in the community, I want to say, but that may not have been who they truly are. I kind of feel like somebody that was possibly feeling like they were your counterpart here, your ex, but it says to release them and even though you're showing up as the queen of wands and people see you as very beautiful and determined and you have all the qualities of the queen of wands, I feel like there's a side of you with the queen of swords that you don't play. 
you're going to say exactly how you feel. You're very strong that way. And if somebody challenges you, I feel like you speak how you feel. You may be very blunt at times, but this may be to <clears throat> try to clarify or to be quite transparent, I'm feeling. So let's look at your love, your, your Venus. And I don't feel like you're mean. I just feel like you state facts. Whoa. <laughs> I don't know if you guys heard that thunder. <laughs> that was like, woohoo. I was like, spirits talking. <laughs> Let's see here. <clears throat> For your love, Venus. Abundance again. Collective, who the heck are you? <laughs> what? Like this says, keep a positive mindset, manifest exactly what you want, gratitude and bliss. You have abundance here, abundance here, abundance or prosperity here. You have abundance under here, <laughs> destiny and life lessons. You have abundance somewhere else here. I know you do. The thinking woman. Oh yeah, the abundance here. Like what? <laughs> Holy hell, this is crazy. What's on the bottom of the deck? Boat. Receiving what you need. Progression, arriving, moving on, closing issues here. So I love this. You are closing this out to achieve your abundance. You have passed some type of test, I'm feeling. This was something that Spirit wanted to make sure that you have learned for sure before they give this abundance. Because I feel like whoever this ex is may have been here because of what you have or what they could get from you. And they may have even been a narcissist. I mean, take it how it resonates for you. They may have been <clears throat> somebody that didn't treat you very well, I'm feeling here. Let's get one more card here. What? <laughs> Ten of Pentacles. That is another abundant card. Wow. Talk about, this is going to be such a blown away abundance. You're not even going to believe how much abundance you have here. And I feel like this could be in a lot of areas of your life, not just one. <laughs> Holy. Let's see what is um, influencing this abundance to come in for you. Why? What is influencing you here? Yeah, you may have been orphaned. There's a higher power here that is mending all of these feelings you had in this. I, I kind of feel like this may be on the shadow side that you learned about mending and how higher power works, about how they can help mend. You had abandonment issues. I'm feeling like this was somebody that you had not expected to abandon you, and they did. This might have been a parent. This is, may have been at a time in your life. I feel like I'm going back in time. This may have been in a time when you needed somebody the most, and the person you thought would, that would always be there for you wasn't and I feel like this really crushed you you really had a hard time with this because then you really felt like you had nobody and <clears throat> yeah why and you wondered why you really did you wondered why and I feel like it had to do with other people's perception they may have been influenced by other people This was an influence on them. You may not have talked about this with this person, with this parent maybe, or a loved one. Could have been somebody that, maybe a child. Could have been, hmm. Yeah, look at that. The fool. And the fool was in reverse here, so. They may have felt like it was too risky. Too risky to to reach out for you, maybe. 
I feel like things maybe there was some regret here from somebody for not I feel like this may even uh, involve a pregnancy maybe they sent you away this could have been I'm kind of feeling like it was a very important confusing time for you and a pregnancy comes up for me because that could be something that you don't know what to expect when it comes time like you kind of know but you really don't know until you've experienced it and it I kind of feel like let's get another card here can I get another card yeah they may have tried to make it up to you with this offer I feel like it may not be this this may be love but it may be from a parent like offering you maybe money to help you maybe they that is how they're I'm seeing two three four or four two three actually but the sequence of the climbing numbers two three four or four two three take however it resonates but four two three might be important for you to look up for your angel numbers I feel like they help you out whenever you need financially possibly this could be a parent I'm feeling here a loved one someone close to you could be could be a, a person of love in the romantics end of it let's look at your mid heaven here well your career here for the collective please career for the collective what do we have for the collective ah this may involve children maybe teaching children about healing energy teaching healing children so this your energy may be very healing i feel like it yeah you're very sensitive look at this sensitivity you're becoming more sensitive and need to make changes accordingly i feel like you sense a lot um you may have kids that really like you or resonate towards you or animals i'm seeing animals and children and just you're very approachable i feel like you're very someone that can be your energy is just a beautiful energy and everybody gravitates to your energy you may not even try to be in the center of attention you may just walk into the room and that just may be how it is why do we have the five of cups here there may be children in your energy maybe a child they may not understand about energy they may be crying over this you may be holding on to this child or helping this child in some way i feel like holding them i mean like giving them support or hugs or advice or they may not understand what the sensitivity is you you know i wish i would have had somebody to mentor me or help me through some of the things that i went through as a child that i saw that didn't really understand or it didn't really make sense to me at the time but now diving deep into spirituality um in this last couple years i realize what i saw what i was feeling what was going on in my energy and what was happening to me so wow well, i i feel like maybe you're helping children with this with their gifts let's look let's look here and see what does your ancestors want you to know what do they want to tell you these are passed over loved ones that you have this is your family these are your roots dream time for your creation so you may daydream sometimes or just have time alone where your mind kind of drifts and you get all these things coming in maybe some creative ideas or you're maybe going back into your 
playbook, I want to say, of all the things that, ideas that you've come up with. Maybe you've written them down or you're trying to go back into your memory log to try to remember some of the things you've seen or wanted to create that you haven't created yet that you want to maybe pursue. Maybe it has something to do with arts or performing. It could even be crafts. It could be I'm getting mosaics, um, maybe with the tile. What do we have? We have sanctuary. You, you might still be kind of coming out of this. We did see the dark night of the soul. So you may still be, um, I feel like uh, secluded and in your own lane, <laughs> kind of very secluded. There's some more thunder. <laughs> Let's see, new beginnings. Yeah, this is what's bringing this in, is this new beginning. You, you're doing what you're meant to be doing. You're doing everything Spirit's asked you to do. You're following Spirit very closely, I feel, to the T, and you've been very patient. I'm getting this patience. Even though we don't have the temperance card out here, I do feel like there's patience. Yeah, you, you had to end a bunch of things here with the world card in order to get these new beginnings. And I feel like you did this. The, you closed one door to open a brand new door to your energy here. Yeah, this was a decision you had to come up with on your own. I feel like you had this, that was that test to release your ex, no matter how they made you feel. I kind of feel like there was always some type of infidelity, maybe in all your relationships. Maybe you gave too much and you didn't have anybody give back to you. And I feel like this is what's really going to change here. There's a decision you're having to make here. Your, your ancestors and spirits are saying there's something that you're going to have to decide, maybe between two people with the two of swords here. And if you look at this card, there's two people here that may be fighting over you. And I feel like with this world card here, one has to end in order for a new to come in or this new beginning to happen, whether it's with this past person or not. But Spirit's already said, you've released this person like you were supposed to. And I felt like they had maybe come back into your energy when I first started the reading. I felt like somebody from your past may have come back around that maybe you had broken it off with, separated from. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, this is the truth. Spirit says this is the truth. This is what I'm telling you. Your ancestors are telling you. You, you know what's true. You know what the truth is. You, I'm kind of feeling like you're going to have to be real with yourself, like go in and maybe even talk to yourself to say, okay, you know what needs to be done. You know it's true. Despite what you're feeling about this ex person, there's something new coming in for you that is so suited for you, so much better for you. They're not going to do all these things that all these other maybe past people have done to you. I feel like this is going to be because you've put your boundaries in place. You know what you're willing to accept and what you're not willing to accept. You know what you can live with and what you cannot live with. Okay, let's look at your, your fortune, your wealth. What's coming in for the collective? And don't say abundance because <laughs> we know there is abundance here. Can we get a little more clarity on the abundance? What is this fortune, this wealth? Emotions and family changes. Okay. So you may be adding somebody to your family here. This is somebody you're very emotional about. And this may be you may have strong emotions for, and this could be this new person. You're going to have to be true to yourself. I feel like don't let anyone influence you. This has to be your choice. This has to be what your heart desires. Okay, it's all about love, right? Sobriety, okay, so somebody has some sobriety issues here. Now this could be you or this could be your person coming in, okay? 
let's kind of clarify here. I don't feel like it's you. I feel like you, I'm almost feeling, yeah, <laughs> you're going to get that, that victory. That's for sure. Maybe even public recognition, depending on what you're doing here. What is the sobriety? Mm. Now, remember, this is your wealth. So this is going to be something that whoever is in the sobriety is going to beat it, is going to win. They're going to do this uh, for all the right reasons. And they're going to get um, this abundance coming in because they've done the work. They're doing what they're meant to be doing. And possibly sobriety is part of it. They need to be at least trying to change whatever family changes here and emotions are being affected by this sobriety. Now, it's possible this may have changed things for a family dynamic because of this addiction, okay? And I'm feeling like whatever it was, whether it was drinking, drugs, or both, or whatever it is, okay? It might be food, it could be... Um, addicted to sex. I mean, it could be a lot of different things, but whatever was affecting this family, there's changes now. There's going to be a different emotion within this family because of the sobriety. This is going to make this person be a whole different person, I feel. They're really going to get that recognition within their family, and this is huge for their wealth. Um, because it's really going to help them clear up whatever fuzziness they had there to really get this abundance. Wow, this is beautiful. Wow, wow, wow. Collective, who are you? <laughs> You're amazing energy here. Let's look at your North Node, your current life right now. Let's see what's coming in for you here. Aha, there is a main male here, but we know that. Now, is this your ex or is this your emperor? Remember, you have a divine counterpart here. But I feel like you released this person already for this abundance to come in. You are embracing this abundance. Look at you. You are the uh, empress here. Okay. And we have a main male here. Let's see. Can you give me another card? This main male, um, I feel, may not be in touch with you right now. I, I don't feel like there's any communication at this point. If there is, it was recent and it was um, denied. You denied this person any type of... I kind of almost feel like you may have not even reached out to them. They may have reached out to you, but you may, nev you may never have um, texted back or called back. <laughs> this is what's bringing in your your great fortune is because like look at how much abundance prosperity and great fortune you're getting here like this is crazy so I feel like you already know what choice you have to make here in order to get this abundance here I don't I feel like this is gonna be like a no-brainer for you look at that the community is going to really recognize um, what's going on here this abundance that you're going to get it's going to be like a public thing like wow this is maybe you're going to win the lottery or maybe this masculine has a lot of money and people in the community know who they are maybe you have the money i mean it could be like anything here let's let's see yeah this Somebody's going to be left out in the cold. I feel like, and they may even be in poverty, and that could be why they're coming forward to begin with. And I'm feeling it's like this X here. Okay, so let's see. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hello. We have the King of Pentacles with an offer. So this is somebody that does have a lot of money. So this may be where your great fortune is coming in here. And they are bringing in this offer. And this is your current life. So this could be happening quickly. 
I feel like fairly soon. I feel like it's really going to catch you off guard. This might be somebody you bump into that you haven't seen for a long time, um, that you were maybe just an acquaintance, or this may be somebody completely new. Let's see what they have for advice for you here from your, from spirit here. Let's see, what does the angels and spirit have to tell you here? What's your advice? For the collective, please. For the collective. All oh, this abundance here is crazy. <laughs> Take back your power. Hell yeah. <laughs> Archangel Raziel, you are God-given power and intention to manifest blessings into your life. Your blessings are coming in. I should you not, because I mean, you look at all these cards. I mean, really like serious <laughs> it doesn't get any better than this truth you have wheel of fortune you have the ton of pentacles you have the emperor and the empress you have um releasing your ex so you know exactly what you need to do you help children uh, you're gonna get great fortune you have prosperity abundance 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 <laughs> this is crazy so you know you're a powerful being so take back your power don't let this ex try to ruin things for you and someone coming in for you look at that spread your wings archangel ariel do not hold back right now the time is perfect and you are uh ready to soar <laughs> sorry i don't have my glasses on i should put my glasses on <clears throat> there we go yeah i can read it <laughs> let's see what angel therapy give your cares and worries to us angels and allow us to take your burdens so if you have any worries about what's coming in for you especially about this ex maybe trying to interfere Give it to your angels, ancestors, and spirit guides. They will help you um, relieve any stress or worry or anxiety I'm feeling here. So what do we have? <laughs> Look at that. The temperance card actually came out. And we talked about this earlier. This was about your life purpose, but how patient you've been. You have been so patient, and I feel like now everything is flooding in for you. All this water and abundance is coming, pouring into your life here. This isn't going to be very long before this happens. You, you just need to hang on until you have it happen for you. Yeah, you've been through it. There may be this person coming back around that's going to try to... I feel like you're meant to be calm, cool, and collective when this person comes in. They're going to try to push your buttons. And this is spirit giving you some advice to this as a heads up that if this person comes back around that you've already um, didn't talk to and separated from, you have to make the effort to forgive, I'm feeling, and not buy into their act i i feel like you can see through this person like it's <laughs> almost laughable um of what they're trying to pull on you and i feel like you've been there done that this is not your first rodeo when it comes to this what's on the bottom of the deck yeah they broke your heart and they may be telling you things that will upset you and hurt you but keeping your cool and not letting them get you out of this new found um, energy that you are in because that they're if you're up here okay and they're trying they're down here and they're trying to pull your energy down to their level by upsetting you and you reacting and i feel like they're gonna poke 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 to get you to come down to their level and don't 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 buy into any of that bullshit you're better than that you know you're up here don't let them pull you back down into that negativity and that anger and resentment and all that don't let them get you there okay look at it this way you've learned 
what you needed to learn from this person. And life lessons are all about learning lessons. And people may be into our life for a short term to let us understand and learn something from them. And that is a karmic relationship. It doesn't mean they're a bad person. It just means you're there to teach each other something. And you learn something and I feel like now they are going to learn something, okay? You've already done the work here and I feel like maybe you were meant to help them get over some of their hurt. They may have been, I kind of feel like they were meant to go into the dark night of the soul. You were supposed to do this together and they refused to do it, okay? And they're still up to their no good ways of using people for what they can get from them. And I feel like it has to do with money signs. I feel like you've, you've glown up, you've done the work, you're getting your abundance. Whatever you were doing for yourself, I feel like you poured into you, that you, you realized your worth here. You know what you're worth. You know your marriage material if, you know what I mean? Like you know you're a good person. You know you're not out there to hurt anybody. You know you're, you know, um, not sleeping around with anybody or maybe celibate. And you're doing exactly what spirits asked you to do. And you're following exactly what spirits asked you to do. So I kind of feel like this, this is going to be another little test for you of who you're going to choose here because if you it doesn't matter what you choose I feel like you may just have to relearn the lesson again if you choose um, the wrong way if you go back to your ex then there might be something more you are meant to learn here and if you can look at it as life lessons then you know see spirit doesn't see it time right there's no time in in other dimensions here we all live through time here, but it's it's an illusion, right? Time doesn't really exist. That's man-made. Something that we came up with in order to um, I guess to follow throughout the days and everybody kind of did the same thing, right? It was, it was <laughs> anyways, um, if you want to look up time, look up time and, and how it came to be but in any case, <clears throat> we've always done astrology when it comes to um, knowing what's coming in for you. And if you haven't done your astrology chart, you should really do that because you can get a really good insight about who you are and what you're about, um, what your moon sign is, what your sun sign is, your rising, and where your planets sit and the, all that says something it means something and it kind of is all about you and learning about yourself can really help maybe guide you to where you're gonna need to be here i love this for you i really really do collective uh so much abundance and prosperity coming in for you this is a crazy read so much unbelievable things going on here i love it it's beautiful I hope you enjoyed it too. I hope this resonates for somebody and they know what's coming in for them. This is so, so beautiful. Well, so please like, share, and subscribe. And give me that thumbs up if you like what I'm doing. If you wish to donate, then you can click on the tab below in the description box. It flips down and it will show you a PayPal link. You just click on that link it'll bring you right into PayPal and you can donate that way or you can do your super thanks. And I am going to try for the beginning of June to try to go live. I've never gone live. I've had this channel for over a year now and I've never gone live. So I would like to try that at least once to see how y'all like it. Maybe y'all like it more than I will. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'll like it. I don't know. <laughs> but um, yeah. I'm going to try that out and I hope to see you in around that time. I will definitely have it so that it's scheduled so people know that it's coming and um, hope to see you there. All right, you guys, take care, stay blessed. Later.